Schultz. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. We have an email. Bob writes in and says, Hello, Tom. I ran across an interesting item in USA Today that really hit home. The most commonly purchased size of clothing for women has increased from a size 8 in 1985. That's 1985, size 8. To a whopping size 14 today. What is going on with women today? Being from Seattle, I know the women here are large in general. But it wasn't until I moved to Orange County that I realized the true size of the problem. Well, so to speak. Women all over don't seem to care what they look like anymore. And I've discovered it's not just Seattle and Portland, it's all over. What's going on? While I can appreciate the personality and inner beauty of a person, let's be honest. Would you rather be with the size 4 or the size 4T? All other things being equal. I have no problems voting with my feet, but I'm wondering if there's something else that can be done. I have a Mediterranean girlfriend who was a size 2, basically smoking hot. We got together six months ago. And now, she's grown to a size six. To say I'm concerned is an understatement. Is there anything else I can do other than move on if this growing, he puts in quotes, growing trend continues? I'd appreciate any light you can shed on the subject, Bob. Well, Bob, uh, it is my opinion that uh, most... American women, and uh, you say your girlfriend's uh, Mediterranean, but I imagine she's somewhat Americanized. Most American women stay as thin as they can to attract a new guy. And it's kind of like, you know, breathing in and then holding your breath. The minute they meet a new guy, ah, they exhale, and then they go back to their regular eating habits, their regular exercise habits, because they feel there is no competition. They have you in their back pocket. They, uh, they believe that you have uh, nowhere else to go for sex. You're not going anywhere. And so their asses start to spread. That's what they do. Anytime you see a woman dieting or exercising, she's either single and trying to meet somebody or about to be single, for example, thinking about leaving her husband. Like, look out, if, you're a, if your girlfriend or your wife starts a regimen, like a real diet and exercise regimen, she might be uh, either having an affair or thinking about blowing, just getting out. And the third possibility is that uh, the woman you see dieting and exercising was a balloon who got dumped... And now she has to diet and exercise so she can meet the next sucker for whom she will look great until she has him in her back pocket and then she will start to balloon again. That's pretty much the way this seems to work. So my opinion is that um, you have to go to your girlfriend, meaning it, and you have to say to her, I didn't sign on for this. I signed on for size two. And um, if your plan is to just keep expanding like this, you're out. I'm done. You're out. It's that simple. Most people don't have the balls to say this. They're always worried that women are going to cry or yell or throw things when you tell them that they're fat or they're getting fatter. But boys, if you're in a serious relationship and uh, she is blowing up like a balloon, you really have to give her the big ultimatum. You have to tell her. And we, we did a show where we told guys to give her the ultimatum. We had a national ultimatum day on this program. We told guys tonight, you go home and tell her, lose weight or I'm out. Out. And I really do believe you have to do that. I don't believe that, that most women think you, you're serious when you say that that's what you're going to do. I don't. 
So, uh, boys, this is what you have to do. You have to tell her, in fact, I would say tonight, to tell her that uh, if she doesn't go back to the size you signed on for, it's over. Over. Remember, men and women are built differently. A woman, even if she's not that hot for you, you know, okay, why? She can have sex with you any time, but a man has to get aroused. It's all about biology. And if when we see you naked, we are seeing uh, varicose veins and big prominent stretch marks and roll upon roll upon roll of fat, we're not going to get aroused. It's not going to happen in most cases, except for you, Al Reynolds, wherever you are. Erica's favorite chubby chaser. So, um, I mean, uh, do you think that what I'm saying is wrong? Do you think it's unreasonable? Come on, it's not. Tom, 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 Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. I rarely listen to you. My husband is a huge fan. And every time we get in the car, it, it changes to your station, and we have to listen to Tom. Oh, I hate that. It's the Tom Like His Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Looking here at a survey from uh, Self Magazine. You want to talk about how much uh, women don't care about sex, especially the kind of young women to read Self Magazine. Women love to say, "Women have needs too. We have needs too. We I mean, need sex as much as anybody else. We need sex as much as a man, maybe more." Well, here's what women told Self Magazine: What's better than sex? Here are the uh, items that are better than sex. Ready? I'm reading right from uh, the uh, survey from Self Magazine. Here it is. 66% of the women surveyed, two-thirds of the women surveyed, said an amazing massage. You ever have a chick ask you for a massage? I mean, all right, and, and they're never satisfied until your thumbs are falling off? What is that all about? Will you rub my back? They don't want just a little rub. They want you to go all the way until you've got carpal tunnel syndrome. Right. 59% said time to themselves. Better than sex. 59% also said an extra hour of sleep. Better than sex. 55% would rather go on an outing with their best friend than have sex with you. 48% rate watching a favorite TV show as better than sex. 42% think reading a totally absorbing book is better than sex. 34% think eating gourmet chocolate is better than sex. 32% think shopping for the perfect pair of shoes is better than sex. Remember, every time you're having sex with a woman, these are the responses women gave when asked what's better than sex. Uh, women have sex to keep you around. They can call talk shows and claim to be just as much in need as men, but when they're being surveyed anonymously, this is what they say. Finally, 27% uh, would rather have a great workout than have sex. That's better than sex. The ages, it says here, Dean, are 18 to 45. But I think most of the readers of Self Magazine tend to be on the young end of that. 18 to 45. A survey of 500 women. So, uh, I don't know. What more do you need to know? Women use sex as a loss leader to get men in the door of the relationship supermarket. It's like when your supermarket is selling a six-pack of Coke for 99 cents. It's to get you in. Then they can um, ram it up your ass when they sell you cream cheese for $4. You know, that, that's how it works. And I think in the case of women, uh, they lure you in with sex, and then they um, later on sell you the cottage cheese thighs. Bottom line. We're talking about women who uh, you get with, and then they get fatter and fatter as time goes on. And I wonder uh, what you do about it. Do you say something about it? Do you say nothing about it? Have you left? Do you uh, just uh, get sex on the side? Is your uh, girlfriend or wife belligerent about it? Hmm? I'd love to talk to guys like you at 1-800-5800-TOM. 
5-800-866. If your woman is getting fatter and fatter and fatter. And before I get to some of these guys, Maria, what did you want to say here? Hello. I want to make a comment on what you just said. All these people are calling in, but no one can exactly tell you how you're woman bashing. The way that you're woman bashing is saying that all we're good for is sex and that all we're good for is, you know, taking us out on a $40 dinner, this and this and that. Oh, so uh, taking a woman on a $40 dinner is woman bashing. No, not necessarily that, but let me finish my point. I haven't finished telling you. Oh, yeah, I haven't made a point yet. Okay. Well, that's how you're woman bashing, by saying that all we're good for is sex. And that well, uh, dear, that is not what I have said on this program. Uh, what I, I will tell you what I've said, and then you can comment on it. Okay. What I have said is that when a woman, uh, it, when we first meet a woman, that's what we want. And even after we have a relationship, it is one of the most important things to a man, maybe the most important thing to a man. I, I, that isn't woman bashing. That is reality. I'll Why can't you accept I'll, reality? I'll accept it, Tom. That's reality. I'll accept that is not bashing anybody. I'll, That's telling the truth. I'll, Why is it that I tell the truth and you say I'm bashing people? Okay, fine. I'll accept that. But I'll tell you another thing, Tom. Uh, you're saying that we need you for your money, and we need yes, this, you do. and we need that. We yes, don't you need do. you for anything. Well, that's what you all say, dear, you but it's want? it's only the fat, homely chicks who okay. are financially well, self-supporting. Yeah. So, and how much do you make, darling? How much do I make? About $100,000 a year. Really? Yes. Well, I'll look at you, and you are hot-looking? Yes. So you're either a model or a singer? No, I'm not. I'm not any of that, and I might not be hot no, to you, but, but I'm... Oh, not, not hot to me, and probably not hot to others. All right, let's get down to it. How tall are you, dear? How tall are you? Five foot five. How much do you weigh? 120 pounds. 120 pounds. Uh, it's, uh, any within other the... questions you have? No, I probably have a lot of questions. For okay, God's well, sake. I have a lot of comments for you. So the well, keep going, dear. Yeah, don't stop here. You're keep the going. One saying that we need you for this. Dear, I'm not saying there aren't okay. exceptions to the rule. There are exceptions to every rule, okay. but there aren't that many. That's why they're called exceptions. Tom. The rule sticks. Okay, let me give you a good reason why maybe some women aren't ready for sex every time you guys decide you want it. Maybe if we didn't have to help you pay all the bills, and maybe if we didn't have to take care of the kids, and maybe if mm. we didn't have to work a 40-plus hour week, and right. maybe if we didn't have to clean up the house for you by the mm. time you're but Well, see, home, then why would, why would you... If, it's such, if marriage is such a bad deal for women, why uh, do women always beat us over the head to get us to get married to them? Uh, no, no one's asking you for Dear, that. are you kidding? The, the, you the world is full of women, women like that. Sex. You said that women don't need sex, that we prefer a million other things over right. sex. Right. I'm so reading that out of Self Magazine, as a matter of you fact. That's correct. What you're good for. What's that? You tell me what you're good for. Not you specifically, Tom. I'm sure you're good for a lot of things. But you tell me what half of your loyal listeners are good for. What they're they good for? Good most credit. most their of them. credit is shot to hell. Oh, no, dear. Dear, dear, you clearly do not know our audience. Our audience has the highest income of any uh, radio station in afternoon drive. Wait, dear. That, that it's okay. documented and available from the okay. radio station. Income has nothing to do with credit, Tom. They dear, rake, raking in. There is you. You have no evidence of this. Either. This is you making outrageous speculation. I I, I want the proof. Where are you getting the information from? I work in the finance industry. I see. And all the people you meet who have have bad credit, they all say they listen to this station? No, I'm not saying that. All the people that I come across to listen to your station, I'm not saying that all of them. I'm saying a majority of them. Oh, yes, yes. This radio station has half a million listeners. You're telling me you've met uh, more than half of them? A majority of them, Tom. Maybe you just work for one of those low-end subprime lenders, dear. No, I don't. I work for a very, probably one of the most important dealerships, um, auto dealerships in the world. Mmm, in the world? Yes. I or see. at least in the United States. I'm sorry, in the United States. Yes, sir. Really? Yes, okay. sir. And you're telling me that you have empirical evidence that our listeners have subprime credit? Okay, sir. All I'm trying to No, tell you're not you telling me that. All I'm you trying to You have no proof of that, and that you make this outrageous allegation on the air, which you're I know not to be true. you yourself. And then you're trying to switch something on Darling, me. Uh, your whole thing here is uh, trying to uh, uh, tar me, uh, tar and feather me here, and I'm not going to let you get away with it. 
You're trying to pump these men up all high and mighty, and we don't need them for anything. Well, dear, then, 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 then obviously, than you just you. you just sit there rejecting people's credit applications all day. I don't reject them. You go right ahead. I don't reject them. Uh, you go right ahead. I don't reject you go reject them. the deadbeats who come no, into your office them. all the time, but you don't need any men. So what do you want? If you're if you don't need a man, why are you so upset about this? I'm not why upset aren't you about satisfied? I'm not upset about. You don't it. sound satisfied. You sound angry. You called in here and held on for ten minutes to get on the air. Tom, I've been listening you listening to what you have to say for uh -huh. a few months now, uh -huh. and I will agree with the majority of the things you Why have to say. Why do you keep listening? But Because I, I agree with you. I agree with most everything that you have to say. Uh -huh. But when you sit there and say that women are getting Not fatter sitting. by the moment and that they, they better do. lose weight or you're going to take they off. They do. are going to take off. You know why? Because you need us too much. No, we don't, dear. To help you no, we health. don't. You need us to take care of your children so no. we don't go after your no, money. You can, do that. you can do that without us being there. And you need us to cook You food. can do that without us being there. Over. We can go to a hotter, younger trophy wife. Move yeah, on from you. A trophy wife that will right. sit down and probably bake herself in the sun on and isn't good oh for boy, I hate when that happens. God, I hate when they do that. Hang on a second. Now, Scott, what do you want to say to Maria here? Scott? <laughs> All right, let's get Todd on there. Todd, what do you want to say to Maria? Hey, this bitch is saying that, it, uh, you know, we don't need uh, don't need these guys, but I, get, I bet the owner of this dealership is a fella. She needs that job. Yeah, you know who's signing that paycheck. Exactly. It's not a woman. It's Mr. Somebody. Guaranteed. Got it. See ya. There you go. What do you think about that, That's Maria? The smartest guy you can put on the air. Oh, with it's me? a fat. He's right. Oh my God! Yeah, do you, do, yeah, he doesn't it, even know how owns, to speak English. Who owns? For God's sake. Who owns your dealership? Is it a woman? Do you want me to say the name of the place? No, no. Just tell us the uh, fact of uh, whether they are a male owns, or a female. Uh, to be honest, you don't I'm even know. Sure. Who, it's an enterprise. It's not owned by one person. Uh, who is the president of your company? It's a male, isn't it? Uh, to be honest with you, sir, I don't. So you know. do not even know who runs it's or owns your company. It's owned by several people. It's owned by several people. How do you know that if you don't know who owns it? How many of them are women? How many of the owners? Uh, probably half of them, if not. Uh, no, you, know, you don't even not, know. You don't even know who they are. If I can tell you the company, you tell me, because you're very well. Dear, we're not going to be going on the air with that because that ends up in litigation. Oh, you're not going to well, be giving the name again, of the company on the air. There's, it's a company that is very well known. Probably the one that you know that a majority of everyone goes through. And it again, yeah, it's there irrelevant. is no one country, a company that the majority of everyone goes through. That's just not true. Well. Yes, sir, and it, I beg to differ. I mean, it's an American-based company, you know, um, no, there's matter. There Japanese is, or whatever. There is, there is no company that the majority of people go through. There are too many companies for the majority to go through anything. Right. Well, Isn't that I, true? Yeah, I guess your, you're right. Your business does not have 51% of the market. It doesn't. Mm, Guaranteed. And if I told you the name of the company, it doesn't. Probably... I don't care what the name is. I don't care if it's General Motors. You don't have 50% of okay. the public. You don't. It's No company has that market share. No You're company. probably right. You're absolutely right. All right. Uh, of course, I had to tell you that. Uh, is that uh, Chalo? Yeah. Chalo, say hi to Maria. What's up, Tom? Not much. What's up, girl, dude? You're How back. are you? <laughs> You what? back? Well, check this out. You, it's the most important dealer in, in the United States, and you have to be turning down people with bad credit. Sir, I don't turn you down. It's the most important. I don't turn you down. I keep you in your car because you guys ah. can't make your payments. I keep you in your car. I help you stay in your car, and then I get you on the phone and tell you why it's so important for you to make your payments, and then you tell me, you know what you tell me? i got to discuss this with my wife. Let me talk to her, and I'll call you back. She has the checkbook. Let me talk to her and see what else we have to pay. So Are all those married? nice yeah, cars that you're driving, those I, nice guys. And, and, and Maria, Maria knows for sure they're all listeners I'm to this saying, station. Well, anyone, Tom, I listen that was to what you. you. That's what you said. Okay, well, let's say that a majority of intelligent people do listen to you because almost everything that comes out of your mouth is intelligent, except yeah. for this statement today is the only time I've disagreed mm. with you. Mm. So... You know, well, I'm giving you some dear, credit Dear, if you here. want to know Work if women are getting fatter and fatter, why don't you just go out to the supermarket about uh, 11 a.m. or go out to any shopping mall around town. Uh, take true, a look at some of the big fat asses that are waddling in front of you. Straight on. Once you get married, they... And then, or, I'll give you my example. I got married. I'm 22 years old. My old lady, she's five six, hundred and forty pounds. She's always getting in front of me. Oh, I'm so fat. I'm so fat. But and when it's dinner it? time, what up? What up? Let me tell you. But when it's dinner time, she's she's right there scarfing down whatever I'm, I'm eating, you know, a, a hamburger here and there, and she's full, and she still comes out with the dessert, and I'm like, God, babe, dude, 
you you're telling yourself you're fat and this and that and, and for what? Do you want me to tell you that you look good and lie to you? Because and you every guys, you guys marry women. No, nah, baby, if, if it wasn't for and us then guys, when they're not intelligent look, enough to maintain their body look, and do nah, anything nah, else nah, for nah. them, you get upset. Look, Maybe baby. if you marry someone with a little more substance. You nah, wouldn't get these type of results. Come on, nah, now. You guys, you guys always talk crap. Ha, 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 ha. I'm not talking uh, crap on you. I'm uh, just giving you a I'm, suggestion. I'm fat for what? And then when, when we tell you the truth to lose a couple pounds... Oh, I, you know for a me, fact, you I know for a fact, fact that I need to look good. Because if I don't look good, my husband might look elsewhere. I know for a fact that i got to take care of my kids and make sure that I'm teaching them right for wrong or they might grow up to be delinquents. So what I'm telling you is that if you chose to marry someone, maybe with a little more substance and quit thinking with your other head, maybe you wouldn't be in the position that you are in today. Oh, Instead of trying to fix the problem, prevent it from happening. Uh, yeah, well, we, we need to take the fork out of your mouth physically, I think is what we need to do in some of these cases. A kitty, hello. Hi. Hi. I think she needs to shut up. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Give me a break, kitty. No, the majority of women out there, they are exactly what he says they are. No, they marry a guy, they get what they want, then they don't want to give it up anymore. Only if they want something, need something. It's, it's, it's or, a wanna, or want to get knocked up so they can turn him into a, a living annuity. And what does exactly. that have anything to do with what, what I'm talking about? Because you're, you're saying that he's bashing women. And I said that like the first no, second and, that I and, called and, in, and I've and, said other things and since you're, then. You're, and you're talking about people's finances. You, you're doing exactly what you're what you're saying he's doing. You're doing. I'm defending. Okay, you're women. saying the majority okay. of people out there. Maybe you should quit you're doing kissing so much same? of Tom's ass and think with your head. Instead of just you, trying to you know prove what's really him funny, right, sweetie, this is the first time I've ever called. So have him. I. This is the first time I've ever listened to his show. Oh. For you, for you to say that, you're wrong. You well, don't know what you're talking why don't you about. Listen to the show I a think, little bit longer, and then what we your can have a is, I think what your problem is, you're jealous. May, I'm not, I have you're nothing jealous. to be jealous yeah, about. Yeah, exactly I have what it is. You're jealous. To be jealous about because you're for a few more months, and then we can have an conversation. Probably don't know how to do. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's about all the obscenity we can handle for one phone call. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. I've been out and about, and I've seen these crazy bumper stickers. I saw this one the other day that said, driver carries no cash, he's married. Why does he just put a big bumper sticker that says, hey, I'm a pussy, my wife's got my balls. I hadn't heard of that bumper sticker. <laughs> the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Leslie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. I love your show. Thank you. I just moved to L.A. a few months ago and found you, and I just love it. I think it's great. But, And the comment I have to make today is, I think if women are not interested, it should be a sign to some of these men that maybe they need to perfect their talent. No, because these are women who are not interested with any man. I mean, it's not like they're interested with one and not interested with another. But they would be interested if it was someone that, you know... Dear, um, I'm telling you, you would at least have had to meet one guy along the way, one guy who could get the job done. But when oh, you've got women saying they'd rather have a massage than have sex, have time to themselves than have sex, have extra sleep than have sex, go out with their best friend than have sex, watch a favorite TV show than have sex, read a book than have sex, eat gourmet chocolate than have sex, shop for a perfect pair of shoes than have sex. This goes beyond men's incompetence in bed. Well, I can't... I cannot think of anything in the world I would rather do than have sex if it's um, enticing and exciting and and I'm not saying he's got a... Uh, I think more often than not, women use uh, sex as a bargaining chip. They use it as a tool. As I said earlier, they use it as a loss leader. I've never, ever done that. Well, I'm, again, you, you may be the exception to the rule, but so what? Well, I just think if guys spent a little bit more time and... Seems like hours at a time. 
<laughs> I mean, there are some women you could do foreplay on them until the sun comes up, and they're going to be, oh, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I mean, please. Oh, I guess they're different than me. But, but dear, so what if you're the exception to the rule? Big deal. How many women have you dated? I haven't. Yeah, well, try getting out there and see what it's like being with a woman. Oh, I I'm telling you. I guess it could be... In there are some women... You know what? I, I have a 15-minute rule on foreplay. If it takes more than 15 minutes to get you stimulated, I'm out. Because it's never going to happen. Never. Never, never, never. Well, I agree with that, but I can just... You know. Well, your phone's cutting out. What was that? All right. Thank you. <laughs> Charlie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. I've never heard your show before. Mm -hmm. And I happened to be switching channels and heard you and thought that you were right on the money. And I love your honesty. Thank you. And I was like, when you said they don't have balls enough to tell them the truth, it's like, well, they should. They should be able to communicate and mm -hmm. tell what they want. And That's right. I'm in a relationship, and I told him what I wanted. He told me what he wanted, and... I mean, I haven't changed my weight hardly at all. So, mm -hmm. I think what you're saying is awesome, and and don't don't even. Uh, I think you're right on the money. Well, thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Appreciate the call, Marlena, on the town like his show. Hello. Is this Tom? Oh, did you Hello. want to talk to Tom? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Hold on, please. Like his show at one 800 tom This is Marlena on the Tom Like His Show. Tom? Yes. This is Marlena. Marlena. How's it going, Tom? Great. Good. This is my first time hearing you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I'm pretty shocked, Tom. This is some crazy, crazy stuff going on. What's so crazy? I don't know. You know, you sound like a successful guy. I am. You are, huh? Yes. I what kind of hottie are you hooked up with? I I gotta know this. I gotta uh, know your back. Uh, I pretty much can get any woman I want and uh, always have. Really? Wow. Well, I mm -hmm. I don't know if this is right. My uh, friend Alicia, she listens to you uh, quite often. She said that that you've been married four times. Yes. Wow. It's a good way to keep a marriage fresh. You just keep trading up. Trade trade up, huh? Yes. Never have the one that sticks with you. Doesn't really matter. No, By the way, in in each of these cases, it was my decision to terminate the marriage. In each case. Oh, trousers. Mm-hmm. Fumble, huh? I'm just oh. honest. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's amazing. That's insane. So, mm -hmm. what do you what do you say about the sexy women who are who want who want to take care of themselves and and don't care about any of Go that? for it. Do it. But you know what? Women are addicted to our money. So as much as they may try to resist and support themselves, right. eventually they're going to stick the old needle in their arm and they're going to shoot up uh, like the uh, heroin addicts they are. They, they are addicted to money. Addicted to money, Yes, huh? women are with the richest guy they can attract. Wowzers. That's definitely not me. Uh, well, never... well, dear, you're only 21. I'm sure you're not with anybody permanently at this point in time. Not not permanently, no. Nope. Still right, so still out go. there and hoping not but to. But ultimately, that. you'll settle down with the richest guy who will take you. Oh no no no! Oh really? No. So you'll be uh, with what? A tree I mean, trimmer? I don't even think you're gonna like be with a weed whacker. Who are you gonna be with? Why not? Why not be with somebody that you love and care for? Well, not like because I mean, because well again, you might be the exception to the rule, but women are addicted to our money. So my guess is, if you don't aspire to be with a guy with money, you probably don't have the looks for it. Oh, no, no, no. Not not at all. Really? What do you look like, darling? Oh, I am 5'5", five, five, 125 pounds. That's a little on the chunky side. No, no, no. Yeah. I, yeah. Chunky side, wow. Yeah, junk in the trunk there. Junk in the trunk? Not extreme, but there is some there. Yeah, you got a little, a little bit of a roll I, there. A little bit of a roll. A little bit of a beer belly or something going on there. Sure you do. At 125, yes, you do. 125 is a, a nice, nice weight. Well, it depends on how tall you are. If you, I'll tell you what, if you're 5'8", it's a very nice weight. But you're not. 5'5". Five, 5'5 five. Five, five is three inches shorter, dude. Uh, <laughs> well, it's just amazing. That's amazing. So, from, from what you're saying, you're, you're fine with that. You're fine with the notion that 
you know, I know that you said, you know, this is truth. This is just what it's, yes. it's hard, to, hard to hear, hard yes. to listen to. Yes. But, I mean, can you honestly sit there and just say that that's, that's a good thing to... I'm not talking about whether it's good or bad. I am simply like a mirror. I'm reflecting reality here. Truth. Well, what, what do you feel, besides being the mirror, what do you think of being, you know, just the whole idea of it? Do you think it's a good thing? It's just the way it is. The sun will come up tomorrow. If I'm opposed to it, what's the difference? True, true, true. But I want to know. What, what, what's your feeling on it? I honestly believe that uh, Darwin was right in more ways than one. Water seeks its own level. You are with the most, uh, men are with the most attractive women they can afford, and women are with the richest guys they can attract. There are exceptions to every rule, but generally that's the case, and that's that. Wow, there's insane. Well, yeah, I just kind of, I wanted to call and see, see your story, because you were very quick to uh, jump on everyone else. I kind of want to know your background. Well, now you know. I have money, power, and fame. These are the three intoxicants that will attract any woman to a man, no matter how old he is, no matter what he looks like. If you have money, power, and fame, you're in. Wowzers. So you aspire to be that, and, and there you are, huh? Here I am. All righty, Tom. Well, um, enjoy talking to you. As kind well of interesting, you and uh, we'll probably be listening to you in the future. I'm sure you will be. Tom Likens. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You guys are sick. Is, is this how you make your money? Yes, it is. Oh, that is so funny. You're really working hard, aren't you? Yes. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's our telephone number. It's Melissa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. You know, what is this women bashing that you're doing? I'm really offended. I haven't heard any. Uh, what are you talking about? Women bashing is what you're doing. Well, give me, know, a you uh, give me a... Uh, if, if, if you're going to make an allegation like that, I'd love to hear some specific examples. Okay. So I can be properly uh, punished. Women just are out there trying to lure men into some trap, and then they just want to get their pocketbook and stuff. That's, you know, that's... You must really be a new listener, dear. No, uh, yeah, well, uh, this is the first time I've ever listened to you. I want of course to it is. PhD level therapist, and you are an angry man. You think so? Oh, you are so angry. Really? I, I I've been listening for like 45 minutes, and all you've done is bash women, and when people call in and say... But, but again, you haven't given me any real examples of it. You're, well, you, you are saying when, you know... The just, because I, just because I and most men believe what I said to be true doesn't mean we're angry. It's just how it is. No, I can hear it in your voice. Oh, really? So are, are you, uh, and now are you uh, going to render a diagnosis based no, on listening to me on the radio? That's illegal. Well, I know, but it certainly sounds like what you're doing, uh, throwing out your I'm credential sorry. and then uh, then okay. rendering a diagnosis on the no, air. I'm Why don't you tell everybody your name so I we can think. talk to the American Psychiatric Association and see if uh, your license ought to be pulled. You're women bashing. Well, you keep saying that, dear, but uh, it's like uh, Hitler. You know, repeating something over and over doesn't make it true, darling. Well, you know, I happen to disagree. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm waiting for the specific examples, the laundry list of allegations, so that I can deal with them one by one. Let's go. I said. You gave you me were. one, what you considered an example. One. How about the others? I consider that when you say women are luring men into some. Trap, You're repeating yourself. You already said let that. Me go. Say, let me just say one thing. Women that I know like sex, men can satisfy them. I agree with women. That Dear, you're 50 women. years old. I'm sure the women you know like sex. They'd like it if any man would like to see them naked. But please, let's be honest about this. No, that, that's, very, that's very ageism and women bad. Dear, that is how men think. Uh, you know, if you really are a therapist, you should know how men think. Years ago that said any women over 50 looks like a sack of potatoes. And men don't think that way when they're our age. Oh, is so, that so? Yeah, that is so. How old are you, Tom? I'm 47 years old, but you know what? I can afford women in their 20s. 
Well, you know, see, you're just talking about ageism, and you're yes, ageism. Because you know what, my my penis doesn't know ageism or discrimination. All it knows is what uh, makes it aroused. And and may I say that uh, seeing a naked, wrinkled, varicose, vein chick with, with her nipples pointing south does not get it excited. But no matter uh, how uh, fair and undiscriminatory it wants to be, that would disagree with you. And I'm uh, well, none of them listen to this show. Practicing ageism and sexism Ooh. and women bashing. Well, hang on. Let's put a woman on and let's see what she thinks. Sam, what do you think of what Melissa is saying here? I think she's full of crap. Well, you know, I think you're in the wrong ballpark then. You're not in the uh, ballpark that of educated people is what I would say. And I'm going to hang up now. So oh, you can say you can't so handle any I criticism. Don't... Look at you. Call up and uh, throw stones and then you can't handle any criticism, huh, dear? Doctor? I mean, first of all, you fall into that category of what that self magazine is. I, that's that's a stupid magazine for one. I don't believe women still read that crap, and I'm not out for any man's wallet. I'm not. It's all. If I'm going to have sex with him, I'm going to have sex with him. You can tell by kissing him if he's going to be good in bed. And then you've decided by that point whether you're going to give it up to him. That's the bottom line. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at. BlowMeUpTom.com The Tom Likas Show.